What if we did a thousand dollars for everything? And get you two weeks of rent. Mm, it would. Have a quick last minute look over there, B, because the guys just offered me the, a, a ticket out of hell. <laughs> We're um, slightly late today. Normally the gates are obviously closed and we're waiting, but today they were already in. After this though, I'm driving up to Caboolture. So this video is gonna be a private pick and a flea market, and we're gonna just buy a ton of stuff and sell it onto eBay. So let's see how we go. About the um, Dyson parts. Fifty for the lot. Thirty? I'll do thirty for the lot. How much on these ones? Ten for all. So what have we got? Forty. Forty bucks. There you go. You got forty bucks change now. Thank you, sir. What games they got? No. Oh, it's got a PS4 controller. Is that a four? Yeah. Jamie left the PlayStation. I feel like that might have been an alright buy. We've got a bunch of vacuum cleaner parts. <laughs> I wonder if one of them can fit ours. No shoes. Are you sure? Are they real? They're just a little bit worn. Simpsons season two. All right, okay, I'll say no. He is a great author. So this one here, this one here we've done for 50 before. And then we've got this one, which is a hardcover. Rowan of Rin, which is the same one. I don't know if that's the entirety, but both of those would be awesome. Mm. Hello. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. I was looking at those two today. All right. What were we thinking? 10 each. 10 each? Would you go 15 for both? You're screwing me. <laughs> I'll definitely do it for 15. Um, maybe a touch too much. Do me 18. 18? Yeah, I could do 18. Let's do that. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. I won't forget. Thank you. Um, how much on the Burks? 15. Yeah, I'll, I'll have a think. I may be back, but thank you for these. Appreciate it. See that tag? Mm -hmm. that, that means that it's a fake. For the beginners out there. A lot of plush. A lot of plush. Some do okay. A lot don't. <laughs> mate. An issue. Mate, why don't you buy that PlayStation back there? It's not worth the 60. You don't think? It's not worth my time if it's not working especially. Did he say not working? I just don't know. Oh, you don't know. But what if it is working? Then it's like one point. You do really well with those. They have, I get them all the time. And, all the and they turn real well. Yeah. You can just marketplace them for like 40 bucks if you want. That's good. I don't, but I see them all the time and they sell really quick. Do they? Yeah. Just the film is super expensive on them, so. The film? Yeah, it's like the Polaroid actual, but that's what powers it. Oh, right. Um, so it's almost more expensive to buy the film than it is the oh, camera. Yeah, it's like. $40 for 10 shots. Really? Yeah. Wow. But they're popular. Yeah. Well, keep going, mate. Senior Charger Mark II. Accent hearing aids. Look at 
about this. The blue ant. Oh yeah. Wireless sports buds. I might be able to use them. Yeah. It's just missing the actual buds. <laughs> The bit you need. Like for sure. We got these too. Here's a similar play to last week. What's the story behind these, mate? I bought that brand new in 1983. It's 41 years old. 41. Got Sony speakers that it was attached to. It's soft touch. Yep. Dual deck. Everything yep. works out. Got all the antennas and everything there. The leads. hundred dollars for the lot. A hundred for the lot. Does it all work? It all works, I promise you. So I'm here every week if you come back to the dozen. Okay. And I've got the Sony speakers, the triple speakers. I bought the stuff, the soft touch. I had the turntable. Yep. But when they moved me up here about 36 years ago, the lid got broken. Right, okay. Would you do 80 for the lot? Yeah, done. All right. Let's do it. Take it home, mate. Done. The, bake, the bottom one's the heaviest one. The bottom one. I think it's the bottom one. I might leave it for now and I'll yeah, come back, yeah. eh? Yeah, mate, I'll put it out the back here so no one can buy it off. Sounds good, mate. Let me get you a 20. 20 for you, sir. Thank you, sir. I'll be back. No worries, mate. That's yours. I'll awesome. put it out the back. Yeah, thanks, mate. The heaviest one is the... Uh, the bottom one, eh? Yeah, oh, yeah. No, I think it's this one here, mate. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's that one. Okay. No, no stress. I'll just drop my bags. Uh, yeah. It's all soft touch. Yeah, know? sweet. No, I'll, um, I'll come back when I'm done. No, no, I'm still looking. You're still going. 80 for three. So that's about 25 to 30 each. And it's going to be that for parts play again. But if we can go to 100 on all of them, 300. It's so, um, when, you, when you sell it with, like, for parts only, there's no... Uh, stress around whether or not the buyer's going to be disappointed. But he yeah. did say it worked, he, all three. He said it works, and I've got the cords, so I could give it a try, but I can't be 100% certain. He's also the guy that does the um, Simpsons Season 8 for $60. It's that guy. So I know that he is here every week, like he said. Yeah. Um, but I'll just for parts it, because I don't really know the technical stuff around that. Those Red Bull flasks or cups are pretty good down there. You want them for the house? Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah, <laughs> great idea. No. I do. <laughs> hey, mate. How much are we doing on these? <laughs> Five? I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Oh, good. He gave me a. Uh, only gave me 10 change. We gave him a 20. So I yeah, think he was saying five dollars each, which is not what you would ever say when I said you would say five each, wouldn't you? Now we've really got to drink out of them. Mm. How are you done? Yeah, I bought a bunch of electronics like the ones last week for $80. Oh, the in the lot? Yeah. Yeah, just too big. Too big. But good for you. Yep, I'm doing them. I'm doing them as well, just not the um, audio ones as much. Audios, yeah. Yeah, I know they're good, but like I'd rather do like the media stuff. It's just like, yeah, and it's fast too. Yeah, the, the one last week was yeah, like yeah, lightning. Like two minutes. Two minutes go on, so I was like, I'll do it again. That's, I had to pay a bit more that's, though. That's what it is. Electronics is like they're the ones that people are like constantly waiting for the notification to pop up. Yeah, yeah, they're hunting it down. Yeah. Um, have you got any more? What's no, that? I got tackle boxes for myself. Oh, for your fishing. How's yeah. your fishing going? Yeah, pretty good. It's like summer, so I'm going to do it again. Is it empty? So, yeah, but it's like 10 bucks. Oh. I wonder why I know it probably cost me like 50. Happy days. Yeah. All right, so we spent $138 down at the flea market this morning. I'm going to spin the camera around and take you through what all of this stuff is worth. It is actually pretty surprising. We're going to do that private pick as well. I'm about to duck out. I've got about 10 minutes up my sleeve. So let's have a look at these. So here it is here, guys. I'm gonna kick it all off with these, the video games. Now, I bought these for $10 with the Dyson parts that I picked up. This one here, The Last of Us Remastered, only goes for about $16, and then the Order 1886, a very similar value, about that 16 odd dollar price point. So when those two sell, that'll be my money back, but this one here 
will be where the profit comes into it. Bloodborne on the PS4 goes for about $30. So that was a fantastic game to see in the collection. Then I went across and I bought these books. Now, I've sold these lightning quick before. This is Emily Roder, Rowan of Rin. It's a five book complete series set. And I should be able to get about $50 for that book there. I have actually sold it before for $50. And then I've also got this one here, Emily Roder, Rowan of Rin, but this is The Journey. A very, very clean book. Have a look at that one there. That's gonna help the resale value. This one here goes for about $25 to $30. So let's say 25, that's 75 in value, and I paid the $18 to get my hands on it. No real money in the Red Bull cups. I had to buy those for the personal, so I'll just go and put them over there. Uh, and then we've got all of these. Now, this was really surprising. These are all the Dyson vacuum head cleaner parts. Now, this one here isn't actually a Dyson. It's a generic um, suction cup. Um, I'm actually not gonna probably go on to sell that one. That one was just a universal nozzle. Um, but these here are all genuine Dyson products. And this is a very, very interesting category to get into, guys, uh, because the sales on eBay are fantastic. This one here, this Dyson part, we should be able to get about $30 for. This is the DC16 uh, base station. There it is there. Comps on eBay, guys, for this item alone, going for about $60 to $65. That'll go into a small satchel, so I'm more than happy with that. Uh, and then this one here was going for about $50. I saw a couple of comps around $45 to $60. Uh, so that will be an awesome part to go on to sell. Uh, and then this one was the biggest and the best. Uh, this Dyson head, uh, vacuum cleaner head, was going for about $90 odd dollars. So what's that? $230 odd dollars in vacuum head cleaner parts and a charging base station. And I paid the $30 to get my hands on it. So. That was absolutely epic. And then I've got this over here. We've got the Technic set, the set of three. He reckons it's working. I'm not convinced about it. We've got the STK50. There's a comp on eBay for this for $120. I've got the stereo integrated amplifier, the SUG91. $215 to $280 for that bad boy if it was working. Uh, and then this one down here, we've got the double Casario uh, cassette deck, RSTR232. Um, there are some comps on eBay around about the $100 price point for that one down there. So $100, $250, and then $100, what's that? $450 worth of gear, and I paid just the $80 to get my hands on it. Like I said, I'm probably going to do it for parts. Not sure how I'm going to play it just yet, but as you can see, it's worth the gamble when it's coming up at $400 on eBay. $750 worth of fines, and I paid just the $138. David, how are you, mate? Good to meet you. Yeah, long time. Yeah, look, I've had a eBay store going for a while now. Yeah. And the only issue I have is that um, I didn't pull out the low-level stuff early enough. Me too. And <laughs> it's led to the fact that I've had to go back to work part-time to meet the bills. Gotcha. Are and you still selling on eBay? Like you... I am. Yeah. But, but the, the difference, the problem I'm having is cash flow. So I figured, well, if I can dump off some high-value stuff and then declutter some of the low value yeah, stuff yeah and if you have a look here all this stuff in boxes on the side wall yep is all my old collectibles from that were display at my old, on display at my old home okay um there's a heap of stuff in there right the stuff down the middle is all my ebay listed inventory okay um how many got in store about 1200 items okay similar to um, me yeah i think i'm about a thousand yeah but the problem i've got is you look at these DVD tubs and whatever, most of my DVDs and shit are listed singly. Right. And when you look at the shit that's in here. Yeah, a lot of singles. Heaps of singles. Yep. Some stuff is okay, but movies like this, they, that sort of shit just don't sell. No, no, so, that's right. And I mean, you've got to wait forever for some of this stuff to move. Mm. There's some VHS, but I mean, there's some good TV series and things in there too. It's the, the, the more incomplete it is, the longer it takes to sell. Mm. And, and I went through that process from 2,800 items down to 950. Yeah. I, I cleaned out 1,900 and it was all those. Yeah, so I used removed. to be... What are you trying to say yes to selling, no to selling? Just about anything. Anything. Over here, uh -huh. and I know you're out of the shoe game. <laughs> I am. But brand new Nikes. Nice. Right? Yeah, okay. Now... Oh, that cool. They are Unworn. brand new too, aren't they? Um, even got the tags still on them. Yeah, wow. Um, 
problem is I bought these and they were the wrong size. Manoa. Yep. Nike Manoa. Interesting. Yep. Okay. Now, apart from that, in terms of the night department, mm -hmm. <laughs> another pair of these there. ones. Yeah. Yeah, they. What size are they? These are. They're like a. a 12? Yeah. US 12, UK 11. Yeah, nice. That's well, I'm a, I'm, I'm a 12. Might even have to buy them for myself. Okay. Might be a good way to buy a pair of shoes off you when I said I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> this is another of the um, smaller ones, the 8s. This is oh, for yeah. me because I'm a small foot. Geez, that's cool. You, you think they're cool? Yeah, I love them. Would you like a pair in your size? Yeah. Keep that box over there. Oh, is that 12s, are they? Yeah. And as you can see, Buying for the personal more than anything. What's going on here? These, these were. Oh, that cool. These, they are brand new. They did have the yellow tag on them, like these. Yeah. Except my son went to try them on, found out he couldn't even get his foot inside them. Oh, you're kidding. And these are they're the '77 Blazers. Yeah, I love them. '77 Blazer high top. Yeah. Mids or whatever they call them. Yeah. Those are on my eBay store, but I'll take them off for you if you want them. I think I'm going to buy both of them for myself. Yeah. It's about time I bought some for the personal. What do you reckon on, on the shoes? You tell me. Both pairs. Both pairs? Yeah. Um, 80? Yep, let's do it. Should have said 100, shouldn't I? <laughs> well, I know that I'm buying a lot more. Yeah, cool. But we'll, we'll do a big bulk lot, um, but for the personal, we'll go 80. Goosebumps books? Nice. I'm trying to build up sets. Um, okay. Some full TV shows as well, Will and Grace, but it's a low-level seller, as you know. As I know, yeah, you're right. Um, Those um, Goosebumps seem to be a pretty large collection. Yeah, what I did is I split them all up mm -hmm. um, and checked the numbering. There's only a, a few missing yep. out of the full set. Okay. And there's a couple of duplicates, if you see there. I think that one's a, a duplicate. But good, there's... good time of year to be getting on the market. Yeah, I just haven't gotten around to listing them. Okay. And I was trying to determine whether I should list them as a bulk. I think a bulk. Or do them as a single. I think bulk. Save yourself the time. Found all these WWF, um, WCW. Oh, that's games. awesome. Yeah, nice. This one has had recent comps for 80 bucks. Oh, nice. You know? Yeah, I actually haven't seen these old school PS1 wrestling games. That's really, really awesome. Yeah. WCW a, Nitro. As no. a full set, they'll, they'll do okay. Yeah. Do you think it would be a case of selling them as a bundle or selling them individually? I think individually. From the comps I've done on some of them, yep. they're quite high. Okay. So I would probably go with, with comping up the high ones. Yeah. And doing them individually. Yep. For people who are looking to complete sets and then the lower value ones putting it as a bundle. That makes sense. That's what I usually do. That's where I do my listings when I'm watching TV at night. So cool. Oh, here's see CDs, video games in the bottom container. Yep. Um, and various DVD sets that I just list and I bring a tub in here. Yep. This is the video game bag I got recently from cool. Cash Converters. Cool. Cool. Um, Chipping away, I'm working through. out what's what in there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That is, look at that. That comes out really well on camera. So this is the pride and joy I take it. This is my personal stuff yeah. um, that I've unboxed from the boxes in the garage. Okay. That I haven't gotten around to, um, to uh, doing much with. I've got a whole lot of league magazines a while back. Big league mags, yep. And some of these are, you know, um, state of origin ones. Oh, yeah. 1995. Vintage. 1998 Suncorp Stadium. Wow. Lots of old ones. Yeah, I that's... haven't priced them yet. No, I haven't looked them up. I would have no idea, but you'd imagine that'd be okay. Yeah. True league collectors out there. It's a nice Harry Potter set. Yep. Oh, I haven't seen one like that before. So that's for the house edition okay. of Harry Potter. It's all of them. Um, Very nice. And if you slide one of those out, yeah. based on the colour of the house... It's Ravenclaw. Ravenclaws. Yeah, Ravenclaw was blue. Yeah. So what they've done is all the pages of the books, as you can see, so they're yeah. blue page. Yeah, that's very nice. So Very, very nice. That's um, currently going for about 100 bucks on eBay. Makes sense. There's a lot more value in those than there is others. Oh, you got a bunch of Blu-rays down here too. Is it mainly Blu-rays? It looks like a lot of Blu-rays here. All this side is Blu-rays, all that side is DVDs. Okay. The top's all DVDs as well. Yep. Um, nice. TV shows are primarily on the side you're on at the moment. TV's in here. Yep. Yep. 
And down that bottom corner is the set that you've come here to see. Oh, yeah, the pride and joy down here. We have Prisoner Cell Block H, guys. This is the rarest DVD on eBay, to, to, from what I believe. Is that right? I don't think there's ever been a DVD more expensive on eBay than this one, and David's got the complete set. Um, so there's all eight seasons, I think, all up, isn't it? Eight seasons. All eight seasons there. 692 episodes, 175 DVDs. 100, 175 DVDs. Have you seen all the apps? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I actually... The one reason why it would be sad to part with that is I used to watch that show with my mum. Oh, right. Um, who's no longer with us. Right. Um, so there's a lot of memories of it, but it's also available a lot now on streaming services. So You can find it. You can find it. Even just people putting it up for free on YouTube. So Yeah, okay. I'm not... You know, when times are tough, it's you've got to let things go. Let things go, yeah. Um, Babylon 5 is a good one. Yes, well, they're available for the taking. Yeah. As are any of these um, Stargates. Yep. Um, Stargate Atlantis. There's even the rare compendium Stargates in the middle there, the ones that actually go for quite a bit on eBay. Is it this one or? These, these ones here, the actual movies. Oh, the, okay. That's um, the Ark of Truth and the... Good one to bundle. Original. Bun so, bundle so if you, with if it. you were to do them, yeah. you'd do the whole lot. Do them all. As a full bundle, you might get a decent sum for them. Farscape as well. The complete yeah. collection. Yeah, that's a good show too. These are all the titles I'm looking for when I'm out thrifting. Yeah. Well, you can thrift here today. <laughs> Harry Potter movie sets, Blu-rays, but they're the limited edition Ooh, sets. Oh, sweet. Um, and they're all on Blu-rays with a book and... Love that. Whatever, but they're numbered collector's editions. Numbered editions, I like and that. I have two of those. I two think the other them. one is down the bottom there Down somewhere. the bottom, yeah, okay. Superman. Yeah, sweet. And there's some wrestlers under there. Oh, there they are there. Very, very cool. Pull them out. And there's more underneath that, I think. Possibly. No. No. Just a... There's, there's a few there. Um, Baby records and things in this one. Yep. Nice. That's awesome. Hulk Hogan. Hulk Rules. They have some of these World of Warcraft figures. Nice. That actually have got a little bit of yellowing and damage, obviously. Yep. Um, but they are going for a couple of hundred bucks on eBay, usually. Um, <coughs> bless you. Yeah, thank you. There's also some boxed ones in there. There's a full Bewitch set. Um, <coughs> oh, it's got me. Nice. Yep. So sweet. What year would that be? That'd be... 2008. Pokemon Yellow. Yep. Sweet. <laughs> That'd work too. Probably does. I've tested that one and played it. Yep. So... Well, where do we begin? Yeah, for your... Pick up, where do you <laughs> I don't know. And more PS4 games and things in there. More PS4, you got Ratchet and Clank. That's a sealed Ratchet and Clank. Yep. That's nice. Yeah, that's really nice. I've also got a whole lot of Xbox, 3 series, uh, Xbox 360 Guitar Hero games in there. Oh, cool. Which can be done up as a bundle. Yeah. What, um, what games are you looking to get rid of? Pretty much um, most stuff is up for grabs. Cool. Based on discussion. Yep. Well, let's start. Let's start putting a few things together then, hey? Mm -hmm. And try and make something work. Yep. Um, and as always, I'll be back for more. So it's going to be sort of a part allocation, and it's purely just cash flow, right? Yep. Um, it's quite overwhelming to know where to begin. But I think definitely the. The games, have you worked through these games down here yet? Um, yeah, some of, those, some of those are listed, but yeah. all available if you want to have a geese. I wouldn't even have a geese, I'd just take them. iPods? Yeah, I, if working. I just haven't got the charges for them. Okay. They were working. 
The Spy Hunter, Nowhere to Run, Rage, Eye Toy, Halo Reach, Dukes of Hazard. Another Harry Potter set I was talking Oh, the about. limited edition. Why don't I go for one of those then at least? If that one's over there. Yep, cool. Um, those other games just here that you'd got from uh, recently, you haven't worked through any of these yet? No. No. They're all in there. I'll look at all of those. That'd be a good one to work on. Nice. And there's more. What are these games in here? Are they yours, are they? Yep. Some steel books. I wonder where my Superman book went. <laughs> <laughs> More games here. Fours of two, three, six. I think all up there's 20. Oh, is there? Yeah. Um, but these are the old original collector. Yeah, cases. Collector stuff. cases, yeah. You can get 20, 20 or so of those. But that'd be different season. There'd be four seasons there. I'm guessing so. Yeah, have a look through that. Let yeah. me know which you don't want to take from that. Interested in the other guitar heroes that I had in the office? Uh, you're looking at that one. They're only going in three dollar bundles for me, so okay. I don't mind. I won't be selling them individually. Gotcha, um, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, they'll just be. I to, to be honest, more than anything, to clean them out of your hair, because someone, okay, gotcha. someone yeah. will nab them. Someone will nab them for three dollars. Yeah. I would say. You parting with those, the wrestling figures? No worries. But I understand I've got to part with stuff. Yep. And I understand that you're a avid collector and that's one of the hardest things to do. Yeah, good. Good, good, good. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I, saw, I saw Grey humming and I'm going to be in her videos too. But yeah, everyone does. Some things hold... Significance. Value. Yeah. Sen sentimental things. And yep. You think, well, for, for certain things you don't really want to let them go for a buck, you know? No, I hear you. But, and don't let them. Any of these that you're going to sell for three a piece are probably all going to end up a buck a piece. You're going to pay here at least. Yeah, I mean, to, to have it be worthwhile, it would probably need to be. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Um, but I'm happy to buy bulk to, to get bulk out. Yeah, I know. Um, they're not huge winners for. Well, what do we got there? One, two, three, three, four, five, six. Some things that I know that may hold a slightly higher value, I'm just separating because I know... You know of its value? Of its personal, you know. But, sure. Um, I'm not too sure how many's in there. Mm. Let's just have a quick gaze at that. Have a look. And what about the wall? Um, Steer clear? No. Go for? Go for what you want from there. Wow. And I'm happy to... I just don't have time for a lot of it. Yeah. Like if there's TV series and things in there that I want to hang on to, I'll let you know. I know I need to part with probably part with that prisoner set to make the money I need to make rent payments. Yes. As I said, my immediate cash flow issues are to come up. Priority, right?
this bundle here. How many have we got? 75. Cool. Happy to do 75 on that. That would be maybe a mini start. What have we got? We've got a bunch of Goosebump books. I've brought out the PlayStation 1 games. And then a bunch of DVDs yeah, that we've pulled off. Goosebumps from over here, yeah? Yes, I've pulled them and, and the ones off the, washing off the washing machine. So, a lot of DVDs, not too many video games, but we've got these ones over here too that we're going to add. These two towers here. We're going to leave Pokemon, aren't we? Yeah. You can list that one up. Potentially. Potentially. Or I could come back on Thursday and buy it. Um, yeah, a bunch of Xbox games there that aren't worth too much money. We're going to do them for a dollar a piece. And then we've just got to work out with the shoes outside that we originally looked at, plus all of this, uh, what we could do. How about, as a big number, what if we did $1,000 for everything? Gave you 750 for the rest. And get you two weeks of rent. Mm, it would. For a small pile, and then we buy again, we buy again, like Brie. Be back on Thursday or Friday. And when would that thousand be paid? Tomorrow. Yeah, that's fine. You happy with that? Um, that include the shoes, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Had 80 on that. That's personal in my mind. Personal wear. Have a quick last minute look over there, B, because the guy just offered me the, a, a ticket out of hell. So make sure there's nothing else in there. Does that include the wrestling figures? Everything, everything there. I'll give you a thousand dollars. Everything that's just here and the shoes. Everything here and the shoes. Yep. And then I'm back next week for more. <laughs> Can we go nine fifty and I pull the wrestling figures out until I've had a chance because I'd like to get the others and then we'll do them all together just Not, to make sure there's nothing personal in there that a mate's given me you know what I mean 900 done done Take it. Go. done <laughs> done all right 900 bucks um, have a look through see if there's anything but uh, oh was that the uh, Freddy set was in there yep yeah that's right Cool. I need the money. So firstly, a huge thank you to David for allowing me to come over and go through that collection, make a video and film a private pick. I absolutely love these opportunities because it gives me an opportunity to not have to go out and thrift, which takes forever to try and find the stock that I was obviously able to source today. Uh, look, I think it was an incredibly fair deal. Um, I paid $900 as you saw. Um, I've worked out the estimated resale value of everything is $3,600. So I'm basically purchasing at 25% of what the total resale value is, and I should be able to make about 50% of that. It should be about $1,500 odd dollars uh, that I'll make in true profit once I've been able to sell every single item. So I'm very, very happy with the deal. Massive thank you for David. As you saw, I only just touched the surface of everything that he has, and uh, I will be back for more. Um, in just a couple of days time, I'll be going back for round two when I get a bit more cash come in off the sales that we've just seen. Um, but I do want to take you through a couple of really big winners. And the first one was actually Pokemon Yellow. That one has already gone on to sell for $109, uh, sold in the space of about three or four hours. So that was great to see. I've also got some down here as well, which is some big DVDs that I want to take you through. So the first one that really caught my eye here was the fact that he had every single episode of Law & Order SVU. We go all the way up to season number 24. This allocation right here, I'm listing up for $280. Big DVD set and the fact that he's got every single season uh, was incredible. This is another big one as well, guys. It's called The Dukes of Hazard. Um, so we've got that one there. We've got six seasons. I think they are all sealed. Maybe not quite. One season is pre-owned, but that right there will go for about $150. A huge TV show season to be finding. Uh, when you're out in the thrift, this is another one as well. Uh, this is Wentworth, and there's a quite a number of copies that are brand new and sealed, as you can see there. Um, but this one here, Wentworth, should go for about $150 as well. Um, we've got some, uh, we've got the PS1 games, we've got Love Boat, we've got so many complete series set. Roswell down the bottom there, Farscape. So that Farscape, we should be able to sell for about $120 to $130. 
Uh, so this is all now listed in my store. And as you can see, there's quite a large amount of volume, but nowhere near the amount of inventory that David has at his place. It turns out the other big winner that I was able to get my hands on was those Goosebump books. Um, now there are 46 out of a total of 62 for a complete series set. If you find the original 1990s Goosebump books, the full set of 62 can go for $500 to $600. It's a huge win. Uh, with 46, I'm gonna list mine up for about $200. And I think that'll be a great result if I get it. There are a bunch of other um, smaller complete set copies of other Goosebump series. Uh, that David had in his allocation, which I'm going to be listing up for around $50 to $100 a piece as well. So we did really well grabbing those Goosebump books. They should do very well. So look, all in all, guys, there is a lot of work ahead. Um, it's just me now. Courtney's not here. Um, I'm absolutely wrecked. It was a one and a half hour drive there and back, three hours total driving. Uh, but I've got a lot of good stuff that I can now schedule out for a week ahead of time. And $500 a day should get me at least a week or two's worth of listings. But... I wanna get it all listed so I can go back to David and buy even more stock. So just a huge opportunity, hopefully a bit of an insight there into a few of the categories that are doing really well. But for now, I'm gonna relax because this has been a monster day and we'll get stuck into some what's sold tomorrow morning. That looks professional. <laughs> wow. Love your work. We got this new coffee machine, guys. This Nespresso, and it's doing wonders for us. These things cost 45 cents each, and a bit of milk makes it about 60 cents for a coffee. And here I am daily having bought coffees out for five dollars at a time. This has been a real money saver. Well, you don't have a mic on. No. So hi, everyone. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Monday morning. We're back again, just like that. These weeks seem to go by very, very quickly. Uh, we're in the crunch period of the year though, guys. This is mid-October, almost late October. So October, November, middle of December. These are the weeks where we're trying to cash in on as many sales as possible. And given the fact that we don't have Courtney anymore, given the fact that I was able to sell all of my shoes a couple of weeks ago for $2,000, we cashed up. We've got some money, which is nice because I felt like we haven't been cashed up for the majority of the year. Um, so considering this time of year is a busy one for listing and sourcing, uh, it's nice to actually have some money to do something about it. Um, I'll show you the whiteboard. We're actually getting some return from all of this spend as well. Uh, you would have seen on the channel so far over the last few weeks, we've been doing a number of private picks. We've been going out to thrift stores, to flea markets. The numbers are looking quite solid for the month of October. We're on the 21st of October today, uh, but we're averaging $412, and that's $8,251 so far for the month. So October 21, 10 days left in the month. Uh, we should be well into the $12,000 worth of revenue. It'll be our biggest and best month of the year by a very long way. I think our best month of the year so far has been about $11,000. Um, everything that is behind Kate, which I'll get you to put the camera over, Kate, all of this here, is private pick stuff and you guys may I, I don't know the scheduling of these videos but you may have seen a private pick um, of what we did after the flea market um, yesterday this is obviously a monday morning today but all of this stuff is in large part that private pick that we did uh, with david has left me with a ton of stuff on the carpet which as you guys know if you're a regular viewer we never like anything on the carpet i'm actually thinking about putting all of this stuff unlisted and making this, what do you reckon Kate? Making this shelf an unlisted. Unlisted shelf. Yeah. So it's like grab a tub and list it. Yeah, that's a good idea. And then we could transfer it into some of these empty tubs over here as well. Um, so maybe I should do that and get it off the carpet and that'll keep me happy, especially while there's a few gaps in the shelves at the moment. Um, but everything's going really well. I think today I'm gonna to actually sit down and list all of this up. It's gonna take quite a while, but um, we've got 18 sales to also put into the mailbag today. And that's what I want to take you through now. We're going to go from the lowest price sales all the way up to the biggest sales that we've had from the weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay, these are our first three sales. These are our worst sales from the weekend. We've got some DVDs and some video games. Uh, all of these have been looked at and spoken about in this little group here because I've fallen under $20. 
And I think if you guys are selling on eBay, personally for me at least anyway, I don't really wanna sell anything under $20. This entire store now has been stripped of the lower ticketed stuff. And now when a sales pops up, I know that it's gonna be probably at least $20 plus, unless we've got a few like these, which are best offers that have fallen below. Um, so we've got Bratz Rock Angle, I, oh, Jesus, I just had a fit. Bratz Rock Angels there on the PlayStation 2. I think they went for about $19. We would have had it listed up for 20. I think Lano and Woodley went for about 18, 95, 19, something like that. They all fell just below. And then this one as well, Life Begins, the DVD series two and three. I think that sold for about 19. This is actually a really good example of what we don't really wanna be sourcing anymore. When I'm out sourcing DVDs, I'm trying to buy just complete sets only, or at least 80 to 90% of a complete set. Just a season two and three, this has been in the cupboard or in these shelves for a really long time. Um, and then when they have sold, eventually, it's only for a small sale price, so why bother? Another video game here as well, Call of Duty Ghosts on the Nintendo Wii U. We got 21.95, was it? 21.85. 21.85 of Call of Duty. Now, these two though are what I really wanted to have a chat about. Top Gear here. This is a brand new and sealed board game and I'm actually trying to start to buy a lot more of these in the private picks. I was actually out with Bree on Friday. I drove back to Lismore. You guys have hopefully seen that video of the private pick with Bree and I. Well, I did a second pick and I spent $425 with her and we bought a number of board games off her this time around. Um, reason why is because it's October, Christmas is coming up, and being brand new and sealed, there's no way there's gonna be any missing pieces, and this is a great sort of an item for the Christmas holidays and present giving. Um, so this one's only gone on to sell for $25, but I've had this in my store for at least a year, uh, and the reason why this is sold is because of, I think, the time of the year that we're in. Um, so make sure you're looking out for your board games at this time of year. I think you can get some good sales out of it. And here's another timely purchase hitting the topic of what we're talking about, Halloween and Halloween 2. We've got a $25 sale price on those ones there. So have a think about your timelines. Have a think about what time of the year it is, what's coming up, what major events could get items selling for you. There's no doubt that it's obviously Halloween <coughs> in a couple of weeks' time. Uh, and that's led to this sale coming through for $25 pretty quickly. I actually picked this one up off at a garage sale. I bought it at a garage sale for a dollar each. So two into 25 and that was bought just last week. So some really good results there. Now I can tell by this sale with that code there, that was actually a code where I did a massive private pick uh, of an old video store that was closing down. This would have been maybe two years ago. So talk about a sell through rate, this has taken at least two years to sell. Uh, pretty horrendous. I wouldn't have probably done anything with the listing. Actually, I, the reason why I think it's probably taken a while, it's, it's a mix Blu-ray DVD combo of, of this show. So two DVDs and one Blu-ray. Uh, we've got a $28 sale price for this. I don't know if it's the complete series set. I dare say it probably isn't, and that's why it's taken so long to sell. Hence the reason why I've obviously been saying, don't worry about these partial seasons. Uh, almost two years in store. I wouldn't buy that if I was out thrifting or if I was at a private pick. Um, a couple of other ones as well that have come through. So I thought this was really cool. We've got Street Fighter here. Um, just a little, little handheld console system here. Um, I don't know if it's genuine as in the original, it's not the original. I think it's just a replica, some fun replica toy. Um, I don't know, I found it a while back. Again, a long sell through rate on this one. We only got a $29 sale price for that too. Um, would I buy this one again based on a $29 sale price? Probably not. Um, sat around for a very long time and now I'm gonna have to do a bunch of bubble wrap and some butcher's paper and put it into a box to ship it off. So that's gonna take a little bit of work. Not really worth my time for $29. This is just stuff that I've started to think about more and more, guys. I just wanna to wanna to play with that high average sale price. $54, I think, has been our average sale price this month. And if you went back 12 months ago, our average sale price was 28. So we've literally doubled our average sale price and we're not having to sell as much to make the same amount of revenue. Um, so really, really important thing for you guys to think about out there. Um, Crash Bandicoot, this one was listed up by Kate. <laughs> really, really good result there for Kate because she only listed it up the same day it came through for a sale for $29 or $30 I think we got for that one. Um, so I've been training uh, and teaching Kate a little bit about the shipping and a little bit about the listing and she's been helping out every now and again which has been very, very appreciative. Um, how are you finding it? Yeah, it's fun. Fun? Mm -hmm. Well, you've, you're smashing it. Thank you. Uh, we haven't had a postage item go missing and we're... <laughs> selling items at your listing. So 
You might be the next eBay superstar in this garage. A little bit of a different item here, guys. We've got the Foster's backpack. I picked this up at a flea market for $10. Uh, how long ago do you reckon it was? Maybe two weeks? Two, yeah, two, three. Two or three. Not, not that long ago. Um, I bought it just simply because it was a Foster's bag. And I know that beer-related brands do really, really well uh, of any make or model or whatever you've got. So I found a backpack for 10 bucks. I thought, why not? And I think it was a viewer of the channel uh, that picked this one up. Didn't get the name. But to that viewer that bought this, thank you very much. We really do appreciate the support. I think maybe a small or a medium satchel will get that done. Uh, you're not going to damage that putting it into a satchel, so that'll be fine. Uh, another video game, guys, for $35. We've got The Godfather 2. Uh, this had a sell-through rate of maybe only a week or two. A really fast game, uh, The Godfather 2 for 35. That was great. And then a couple of wins on consignment with Brie. Now, a few people have been speaking about my deal with consignment that I've done with Brie. If you guys weren't aware, um, I won't show you guys. It's all in that big, awful pile down there. But there's a lot of Pokemon cards. And I've been pulling out the ones that are of worth. And I've been listing them up and then splitting it with Brie on consignment. These two cards here have sold for $35 a piece. Uh, we've got a Vulpix, which has gone to a viewer of the channel. Um, the person that bought this is actually a Vulpix Pokemon card collector. Um, so that's going to go into her collection. She was pretty excited about that. And then we've also got a Jigglypuff. Uh, this is a CGC Mint 9 promo card, uh, which is in obviously very good condition, being a CGC 9. Um, so a greater card, that sold for $35 as well. Uh, Brie and I are slowly splitting these out 50-50, so we are making a few dollars each, and I'm paying that out on a monthly basis to Brie, uh, which is actually coming up over the next couple of days. So a few more cards listed on consignment for her and I to get, uh, and then I think what I might do with the rest of the Pokemon cards is ultimately just give them back to her, uh, because they aren't worth much money. This has come from the garage sale that just keeps on giving. Uh, we went to a garage sale actually two weeks in a row. Uh, they had so much good stuff that we just kept buying. And we've already sold these items um, a lot. We've sold a lot of items for a lot of money, already profiting so much money out of the deal. Um, this is just another one of those sales that have come from it. I paid $10 for this Doctor Who minifigure action set. Uh, anything Doctor Who, whether it's DVDs, action figures, whatever you may find, uh, there's a big collector's market out there for it. That garage sale was only two weeks ago, and this has already gone on to sell for $40. So I will put that into some bubble wrap, and I'll put it into a small, uh, low-lying box, and that should do really well. Uh, and then our best-selling category continues to fly this weekend, guys. Um, this one here, Biohazard, uh, this is the Revival selection. Uh, we've got a $40 sale price on that one there. We also sold Donkey Kong Country 3 uh, on the Nintendo Super Nintendo. Um, that was bought off Brie in the first week of our private pick. So it's been about a week and a half for that one to go on to sell. And we got $50 for that video game. Uh, and then we also got this one off Brie as well, I believe. This is the Super Smash Bros. Melee. Um, what do we get for that? 76 or something? 76. 76 bucks for the Nintendo GameCube. Uh, so video games, we are actually filling up a little bit more here. Um, we grabbed, I should show you this because this is quite interesting. We've got Deadpool. Um, Brie found Deadpool, Xbox One. We're going to do it on consignment. This thing goes for about $220, if you can believe. Um, so we're going to consign it off. We might make ourselves about 80 or 90 bucks each. Um, already got about five watches and we only picked it up on Friday. Um, so that was awesome. I don't think that'll take too long. But our shelf in the video game category is slowly filling up. I think in a couple of weeks' time, that'll be completely full uh, because that's pretty much what we're trying to source now. So if you've got any video games or any DVDs, I am doing private picks pretty regularly now. Like I said, we've got a bit of money. Um, so let us know and I'll be out there and I'll be able to grab some of the stuff off you. And this is our best sale of the weekend. We have the Alesis, the Alesis Q49 keyboard. Um, so this is tested and working, a pretty unique item, not something we typically do a whole lot of, um, but it was out of that garage sale that keeps on giving. It's another great sale, came along with the Doctor Who action figure set. Uh, I only paid $10 for this at a garage sale and we ended up flipping this just last night for $95. So I only took a week to sell, a $95 sale price. It will cost a little bit to ship considering it's so big, but when you're buying for 10, selling for 95, that's still gonna be a heavy amount of profit. Um, just a, a unique one to try and have to ship off, but I'm happy to do it. I'm happy to buy the big bulky heavy items because if you do put enough bubble wrap and butcher's paper around it, um, you're never gonna have any issues. And postage isn't actually as scary as you might think. Um, you can sell them off for like, this might cost no more than about 20 bucks, which 
when you're selling for 95, it's definitely worth it. No $100 items though this weekend, which tells me that the $100 items and the big ticket stuff and the big sales days are probably only just around the corner. Uh, we had an $880 day on Thursday, and then we've been quiet for the last three days in the sense of maybe two to $300 a day. So I think today, if I list up all this stuff, we might get a really big what's sold coming up in the next few videos.